On January the 23rd, the James Webb Space Telescope arrived at its final destination, the second Lagrange point. To mark this event, we'll answer the most popular questions about the telescope. Let's get started. How is James Webb different from Hubble? James Webb and its famous predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, have three main differences. The first difference lies in wavelengths at which the two telescopes operate. While Hubble studies the universe primarily at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, James Webb will work in the infrared spectrum. This will allow it to see extremely distant stars and galaxies that are invisible to Hubble. Second, Webb has a much bigger mirror, 6.5 meters in diameter versus Hubble's 2.4 meters. Larger light collecting area will allow James Webb to peer much farther into space. Finally, unlike Hubble, which is located only 500 kilometers from Earth, James Webb is 1.5 million kilometers away at the second Lagrange point, or L2. We'll talk more about L2 a bit later in the video. What are Webb's primary goals? One of the main goals of the James Webb Space Telescope is to look back through time and detect the light from the first stars and galaxies. How will it be possible? As light takes time to travel, the farther away an object is, the farther back in time we're seeing it. James Webb will be able to see back to about 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang, when the first galaxies formed. Another exciting task of this telescope will be studying exoplanets. Astronomers have found thousands of exoplanets, but still don't know much about them because they are very far away. Webb will be able to look at exoplanets at infrared wavelengths, do spectral analysis of their atmospheres, and search for the building blocks of life there, such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. In addition to observing planets outside our solar system, James Webb will also look at celestial bodies relatively close to us. For instance, the Space Telescope will measure the chemical properties of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, which is the only moon in the solar system with a substantial atmosphere. It will also study the weather and climate of the mysterious ice giants Uranus and Neptune, which have only been observed by Voyager 2 more than 30 years ago. What instruments does James Webb have? James Webb carries four instruments. First, there's the Near Infrared Camera, or NIRCAM, which will detect light from the earliest stars and galaxies in the universe. The second instrument is the Near Infrared Spectrograph, or NIRSPEC, which can analyze the spectra of more than 100 objects in one field of view. Then there's the Mid Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, which will observe the red-shifted light of distant galaxies, newly forming stars, faintly visible comets, and objects in the Kuiper belt. The fourth instrument is two instruments in one, the Fine Guidance Sensor, or FGS, and the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, or NIRIS. FGS is a guider, which will help point the telescope. NIRIS will detect and characterize exoplanets and perform exoplanet transit spectroscopy. Why did James Webb go to L2? As we've already mentioned, James Webb will operate 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth at the second Lagrange point, or L2. What is special about this point? Lagrange points are spots of gravitational equilibrium in space. At the second Lagrange point, James Webb will stay in a fixed position relative to the Earth and the Sun, and orbit the Sun in synchrony with the Earth. Why is it important? For a space telescope, the three brightest objects in the sky are the Sun, the Earth, and the Moon. By positioning your telescope at L2, you can keep all these bright celestial bodies in one region, giving the telescope a view of the entire universe with minimum interference. The second reason for sending James Webb so far away is to keep it cool. To be able to detect faint infrared signals coming from very distant objects, the telescope must be kept extremely cold, at about minus 233 degrees centigrade. At L2, James Webb won't receive as much heat from the Sun as a telescope on the Earth's orbit would. 
Webb also has a multi-layer tennis court-sized sunshield that will protect its scientific instruments from the sun's heat. Why did Webb travel into space folded up? With its 6.5-metre mirror and 22 by 10-metre sunshield, Webb is the largest telescope ever placed in space. It is simply too big to fit into a rocket. For this reason, the engineers had to develop extremely complicated origami-like technologies that would allow for the correct unfolding of the telescope in space. Fortunately, by now, James Webb has been fully and successfully deployed. Are the James Webb mirrors made of gold? The Webb mirrors are made of beryllium, a light and strong metal capable of holding its shape at very low temperatures. However, the mirrors are indeed covered with a thin layer of gold. Gold is a highly reflective material at infrared wavelengths, which will help to focus light from distant objects onto Webb's instruments. In total, about 48 grams of gold were used in the James Webb mirrors. Can you see James Webb from Earth? Now that James Webb has arrived at L2, its magnitude equals roughly plus 16. That's two times fainter than Neptune, the farthest known planet in the solar system. So unless you have a large telescope, there's no way you can spot James Webb in the sky. Thanks for watching. When James Webb makes its first groundbreaking discoveries, we'll definitely make a video about them. So hit that subscribe button not to miss it. See you next time.